Hi, I'm here to talk about electric mobility devices. Uh, in 1998, we moved uh, back up to Ferry County, took care of Peg Blum's house on Empire Creek. And we were there for about eight years total. In 2004, I was walking down the front steps about six o'clock in the morning in the winter and I didn't see the slick ice on the steps and I fell down and I hit my back on the sixth thoracic vertebra and I knocked it 30% anterior. Essentially, I broke my back. It didn't sever the spinal cord. <laughs> now let me show you where that is. Now, see this uh, hump in the back there? Here, I'm gonna use a little pointer and click down here, the number, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six thoracic vertebra. Right there is where it's broken. Beyond that, there's another problem. In the lower back here, right down here around the belt line, I have a condition which is unpronounceable and it's pinching nerves. It caused this hip to go bad. I lost 30% of this hip and it needs to be replaced. And I have now peripheral neuropathy. There's no feeling in my legs all the way down to my toes. So I went out and uh, at the time, my mother was still alive, so there was a little bit of money left in the family, and uh, I bought this uh, electric scooter. Without it, I wouldn't have been able to get it out at all. And when not on the scooter, I had to use crutches or a walker. And I started gaining weight because of the lack of exercise. So things went progressively downhill, and David graduated, and we moved out of town. Now the scooter is broken, essentially. It's had uh, about four years of good use. But, since I've been running this newspaper online here, I've only asked for donations a couple times. And uh, I really, uh, there are a couple of people that have sent little bits here and there, and one person who sent uh, something very special one time. But uh, what I'd like to do, instead of donations to the paper, let's make it a donation to a good cause. This uh, electric mobility device is no longer able to be used, and it is not able to be repaired. It wasn't paid for by Medicare, so Medicare won't pay for it. And uh, a new one will cost me around $750 something that will replace this one. And I've lost enough weight now that I can get a little bit like weight or scooter. But uh, unfortunately I don't have $750. As I'm sure most don't, but every little penny counts. So when you read this paper every day, or every other day or once in a while, and you enjoy the pictures and things like that, know that a lot of those were taken from my scooter. And I'm sort of stuck uh, in the house a lot now. I can't get around quite as much as I used to. Uh, I'm missing about three quarters of my travel time here. So, so donations to PayPal. Here, with the PayPal deal there logo, and there's also one below. Click on it, and you can donate if you wish, and consider a donation for either thing for the uh, ongoing work that BobChannon.org does with your local sheriff and. Uh, and reporting crimes through WSP and showing photographs and news. And, or you can consider it a donation to a guy who's got no more mobility. I'd appreciate it very much. It'd be nice. Thank you.